Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the vlog. We are still in Panama City Beach, and uh, not a whole lot of people on the beach. It's it was one degree this morning Celsius, which is like 34 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. Uh, right now it's nine degrees Celsius, and two people lounging on the beach and that's it. A bunch of people are in the hot tub. Nobody's in the regular pools. Today, we are gonna go to Panama City. I guess that's called Panama City Beach as well, or Panama City, Florida, I don't know. So it's the big city that's just north east of us. So we're gonna go across the bridge. I'm thinking about doing a food review for tomorrow while we're at it. And uh, the hard part about doing this, this is, there's a, there's a part of me that wants to kind of slowly convert the big channel into the vlog channel. Uh, because when I do these travel vlogs, I like to videotape when we go and eat places, but then when am I supposed to do a food review for the big channel? So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult. And like I said, I, I wouldn't mind making the vlog channel, uh, or when I do a travel vlog, put a video up on the big channel saying, hey guys, just to give you a heads up, the next bunch of food reviews and travel vlogs are gonna be going up for the next week, and that will kind of take some of the pressure off trying to handle two channels at the same time and uh, eating the same thing twice kind of thing because I'd love to have gone back to that Thai place and did that sushi thing. Uh, I guess it was the, the lobster sushi roll was amazing. I love to show that off to the people on the big channel. Uh, same with Sharky's. That platter that I had was a go out and get it now. Uh, but I got to go back there and do it again and it's $44, expensive. Um, the lobster roll wasn't that expensive, but uh, again, there's only so much food I can eat. Uh, unfortunately, the type of videos that I do is hard on the body. <laughs> it's not hard on the body shape. Well, it is hard on the body shape. It deforms, deforms the body shape into a pair. All right, so we're going to uh, pack up and head on over to Panama City. Good morning, Carol. Hey. Carol's not uh, as sore in the legs as she thought she was going to be, which is good because that just deters people from wanting to bike. And uh, so maybe we, I don't think we'll get on the bikes again though because we just, we've got so much other stuff we want to get done. And my butt's too sore. And my butt's too sore and I cannot lie. We're heading into Panama City. Is it actually Panama City Beach City or is it actually Panama City, Florida? Panama City. Right. So this Panama City Beach is where we are right now. Yep. And then Panama City, Florida is the city. Okay, let's go. We are going to go to Andy's first, and uh, that's one of my, my aunt and uncle said it's one of their favorite places or a great place that they've been to, and when, when you go to an area that other people live in every once in a while, and like the first place that they say is this place, that's got to be good. It's the number one thing that's on their mind. They said not only the food is good, but the, the owner is usually busting tables and making sure all the customers are happy. So uh, I wouldn't mind meeting this guy and uh, making a video for the big channel. Maybe just do the whole, again, gorilla style shoot where it's like not all set up and trying to do a perfection show. Just hold the camera, shoot, and go by the seat of your pants, basically. Gorilla shooting, gorilla glue. Carol just reminded me that my cousin uh, Kelly and her husband Mike, when they were down here in the fall, they found Andy's and then told my aunt Susan and Uncle Ross and my cousin Amy <laughs> and Andrew, they also went there because of Kelly and Mike and now it's one of their favorite places and it's just one of those kind of, it's, it's not anywhere close to all this stuff. So it's just, uh, we had to cross over a bridge I believe and I'll show you where it is.
just finished lunch. I made the video for the big channel, but uh, Andy's Flower Power Cafe and Bakery was top notch. If you're in this area, check it out. It's not busy right now, but it gets crazy here on Saturday and Sunday. It's like, it's like they like throw food and, and catch into the mows, and, and it's kind of like that whole, it reminds me of, um, that Tom Hanks movie, right? Uh, big when they went to the uh, uh, Italian restaurant, they went for pizza or whatever, and it was his birthday, and they're like rolling dough and throwing it and catching in their mouths and stuff. That's the kind of excitement stuff that happens here uh, sat Saturdays and Sundays, like seven to eleven or whatever. But uh, like I said, if you're interested in coming down to Andy's, check it out. Okay, guys, I just wanted my vlog channel to meet John. How are you doing? Good, how are we doing today? Excellent, so he treated us to lunch today. It was great, great food. Please come down to John's. Let them know where you're located again. We're uh, Andy's Flower Power Cafe and Bakery, and it's F-L-O-U-R. We're in Panama City Beach uh, on Thomas Drive. Uh, we're 3123 Thomas Drive, Panama City Beach, Florida, uh, next to Captain Anderson's. Can't miss us. We don't do fancy, we do fresh. So they come do check fresh, us out. And the food was amazing. So hey, thank you again. No, thank you so much. We appreciate having y'all. See you, John. Take care. Well, as you can see, like we nailed the right restaurant to do a review in. John is just an amazing guy. Uh, we grabbed a cookie before we left. This is peanut butter, and let's just give it a shot. Mmm. Soft in the center, and then crispy on the edges. Not just peanut butter in there, but chunks of peanuts. Very nice. Again, this is Andy's Flower Power Cafe and Bakery. Please stop in. Tell me you're there because Ken sent you. That would be so cool. The guy is really nice. He's amazing. Um, he even comes over to you after you finish your meal. How can I make that better for you? What can I do to make that better? And, and, he, and he told Carol to be honest, and Carol was honest, and she said there is uh, Creole mustard on it, and she, Carol was a little bit sensitive to pepper, so it was a bit too peppery for her, and it was just overpowering. So if you went again, would you just put like half it on there, or just not? You would just you wouldn't use that at all. So she she just she didn't like the, uh, and he's and he appreciated her honesty, and she wasn't being rude or anything. She was just saying, and he wanted her to to say that. So. But mine was brilliant. Uh, the only thing I would do on mine was not have the slice of uh, pickle on the side because it's just a waste and the two pieces of melon. I'd ask them not to put that on and he said you could change it up. You know, if you change it up to the expensive side, then they would charge you for that. But if it went lower, then they would just replace it with a whatever. And Carol got, instead of the uh, potato salad, you got chips. So you can have a, your sandwich and chips if you wanted. And uh, I think I'd probably do that next time I come. But. Uh, Please come by and say hi to, uh, to John. Uh, that would be so cool. I believe that we are coming into the town, the downtown area of Panama City Beach. We are on Beck. Avenue you can tell me if this is the downtown uh, it just looks like the most heavy traffic area so I just, we just kind of figured we didn't ask anybody and we're just just driving around we wanted to see Panama City Florida we've seen Panama City Beach not all of it but we saw a lot of it and now we want to see this little town or city of course it's right on the ocean and you're gonna have piers Beautiful boats, Dexter, <laughs> and a dead shark with a boat. That was a fake shark, just in case you're wondering. We've got oysters, crab legs. What was that place called? Hunt's Oyster Bar, maybe? All these cool shops. <laughs> All the three of those guys were looking at me, what? We are down by St. Andrew's Marina. I'm gonna get a few shots down here. Should have brought the drone. Why didn't you? I don't know, I wasn't thinking that we we're gonna be shooting in the city. I have no idea why I didn't bring it. 
All the boats are up and out of the water because for safety, they don't get smashed about in windy storms. We're gonna get out and take a peek. This is my first boat. Her name's Jenny. Just uh, finished doing like a little tour of Panama City, Florida, and uh, we discovered that the road we're on back is like the historic St. Andrew's main drag, which is this this place. They've got colorful places like that. The dog dog beds outside. Pawn shop. Get some pawn stuff. Palm trees. Palm trees beside the pawn shop. Los Antonios. That's Ross was telling us about that. Oh really? Mexican restaurant. And that guy almost ran into the side of our car. <laughs> All right, we're parking it. Publishing company. Hello. All right, guys, we are at the, uh, where are we? We're at the Panama City <laughs> Publishing Museum. Carol, we're just walking by, Carol's like, let's go in here, it looks pretty neat. And, and I met Ryan here, and when I was in uh, college, one of the things that we taught, were taught in graphic design, which was typography, and was mind your P's and Q's. And as a kid, you're told mind your P's and Q's, you didn't know what it meant. Um, but it comes from publishing stuff. It does. Right? It comes from typeset and and a typesetting, right? So Ryan's going to show you what it actually means. Mind your p's and q's. Oh my gosh! So much pressure. So much pressure. Okay. Ryan's cool. <laughs> Give her a thumbs up. Don't Le tell anybody. Leave a good comment. Anyway, so <laughs> the way that uh, letters are laid out in your lovely Hamilton case isn't like you would normally suspect it to be. It's called right. the California job case. Nice, and that's right. Got it. You got. I don't want it to be like all oh, whatever. I don't want it to be all shiny. Right. Anyway, so don't worry about it. Um, this is how California job case is laid out, and so what I'm going to show you is here in the very corner. That's a Q. Right. Here up next to the Y's is your P's. P's. And, and the reason they say mind your P's and Q's is because they look identical. Yes. Because you're always looking at them backwards. Yes. So I'll show so you backwards. Show, show us the backwards. So here's our California job case. So here. This is our Q. Okay. And this is our P. Mind your P's and Q's. Yes. And I guess the only way, and it, and it takes so long to actually make up a page. And it's so easy. It's so easy to screw to up. To screw these up. Right. Absolutely. And that's why they probably also try to keep them really far yes, apart from exactly each other. Yes, that's exactly why they keep things yeah. that are alike far apart from each other. Right. Well, thank you very much, Ryan, for showing me that. You're very welcome. And teaching uh, my public, my, my audience. Your public. My public. Uh, what P's and Q's mean. I want public. How do we get public? How do you want public? I want to get my own public. Oh, you want to get your own YouTube channel? Oh, is that what you mean? Is that what I mean? No, I, I don't want to She wants to go public. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. Bev is going to show us how she's actually going to print something. So that's that's the ink rollers. Yeah. And then she'd actually just print it right onto that. Well, let's throw another one on there. And it stays wet for how long? It does, depending on how thick the ink is. 
lay down on the pad. And the coolest thing about what you're doing is what it's for. A pub crawl. <laughs> is that the, Saint, pa the passport? St. Patty's Day pub crawl. The yes. St. Patty's Day pub crawl. There you go. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. That is so cool. So as it's going down, it's like a two-step thing because this is now... I uh, got inked for the next one while you're taking that one up. It's all ready to go. And then what this is just helps even it out, I guess. Okay, this do one more. Finished product. Oh, very nice. With a different color green. That's beautiful. And just before we go in, so that's all the types that, that Bev put together, I guess, earlier on today. Actually, Ryan did oh, that. Oh, Ryan yes. did that. I can't Way to go, Ryan. That. Look at that. And she mined her P's and Q's. Every one of them. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for showing us, ladies. That's so cool. Our um, computer printer from long ago. That's right. It's, she's printing her emails right now. Yep. <laughs> that is so cool. Nothing will last forever. Yes. How long would letters last for? I guess depending on how busy the company is, right? Yep. But how much? How many prints do you think they actually get? Oh gosh. Um, would you do you know that stat or? I don't think I would know that stat. I do know that to keep it as pristine as possible, you have to have um, paper that's super smooth. Anything with the texture will, will start to wear it down. Oh okay. It's a super thick paper. If um, you know, it, it's supposed to be just a kiss on the paper, and that's. But some people like to emboss, which oh, okay. pushes it down, and that also ruins. Yeah. And there are different types of letters. There's. Um, there are wood letters and then the metal, which are right. different types of metal, but usually lead. Which isn't good for you. <laughs> Don't eat them. Don't eat them. These trees totally defy gravity because they just arced way out. They're so far out that you think it should tip over, but they don't. It's unbelievable. And then, then there was another one over there. The whole tree was just like sideways and just kept going <laughs> all by itself. There's nothing holding it up. So if you're down this area, Oaks by the Bay Park, beautiful. B E A beautiful. A whole bunch of people wanted us to check out Uncle Ernie's. So we're just gonna stop in, look at the menu, have a drink, then make a decision from there. Oh, 
Okay. All right, how are you doing? Okay, this is the table that we're sitting at. We're right there, looking at that view. I guess because it's windy, they have the plastic things down. It's a cold chill. I ordered uh, one of their famous Bloody Marys, and it's really good. They definitely make it with um, horseradish in there. Very, very nice. Carol had the mojito, and you said it's good mojito. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's a peach mojito you got. Yes. And then we've ordered just uh, some chips and some salsa. Again, <laughs> you never know how somebody's going to prepare something, and you would. I would never have thought to ask don't put pepper on it because I don't know anybody who would put pepper on your chips but let's say they they spiced up the chips and it's also like for me it's amazing I love it mm. my kettle doesn't like it too peppery all finished up at Uncle Ernie's that's the view you get not looking through the plastic but again it's windy and cool People that want to sit, they've got like heaters in there. Oh, look at the kitties! Oh, kitty Hi! How are you guys doing? Oh, I miss my ninja. Ninjas! Two ninjas. We are at Win Dixie. <laughs> Food and pharmacy. So we're gonna get some stuff. Uh, I gotta get beer for tomorrow for the boat trip. Going out in a pontoon boat tomorrow with Ross, Susan, Amy, and Andrew. Look at the baby cart. Get a baby cart, hon. She's gonna get the baby cart. I'm gonna buy some booze. One interesting thing uh, about the United States is that they have sales on alcohol. So you can buy 24 Bud Light for $21.99. I'm not sure, like I don't know the prices normally of these things. We got $9 for 18 packs of Bush, Bush Light, uh, Rolling Rock. Then you got Light, that's $19 for 24. So that's like the cheapest. Oh, if Younglings is the same, I'm in. Sale. I'm in. 24 youngling. But I'm gonna steal from the fridge section. So awesome. That's an awesome price. 19 bucks. Well, 20 bucks for that whole case. Yes. Youngling is one of my favorite beers down in the states. I totally forgot about that when I bought my Bud Light. Bud Light's great. And. Bud Light 15 pack, okay. I thought I saw 24 and then 13 bucks. That would make a decision right there. But we're gonna do Youngling, 19 bucks. Let me know if it's that cheap in your area. Cause I think that's a pretty good price. In Canada, I think that'd be like 35, $40. thought you had one. She gave us, oh, what a tool. Went to the wrong exit. Trying to go through the entrance. I didn't want to enter into the world. Doesn't mean the same thing, I guess. Oh, that car, half the car is missing. The whole front end of the car is gone. <laughs> no. Anyway, so got our groceries. Carol made a big, Big error and bought a thing of Krispy Kreme donuts. Damn it. Oh, yum. This is, we're on holiday, but that means we have to take the stairs. What? Yeah, that's the rule. We are off to Pier Park because there's a lids there. 
and I don't think we told you guys, but we figure I left my Blue Jays hat at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, I'm not sure where we stopped for Cracker Barrel, but that was the last place we noticed that I had my baseball hat on. And we're going to be on a boat all day tomorrow and I need a new hat. And so lids will be great to go to. We're in Florida, so I'm not sure which NFL or hockey team. Chances are I'll be an NFL team. And uh, but again, I'm not sure which I should which I should go for. Should I should I do the Miami Dolphins or should I do Tampa? I'm closer to Tampa, and uh, I'm not sure if there's any other NFL teams in the state. There's nothing in Orlando. Anyway, off to Pier Park. Made it to Pier Park. Now we're going through JC Penny because on the other side is uh, lids. I wanted to walk a bit too, so so I kind of parked halfway there. <laughs> yeah, we got the donuts. We got to work off the donuts, and we are at top. We are at seven thousand two hundred steps. One of my favorite cars, right there. There was another three-wheel vehicle that went by. It was very cool looking. It was like a, almost like a Batman, Batmobile, but it was all red. It was very cool. We got the Oshkosh. We got the Rack Room Shoes. Rue 21 Tillies. Spencer's Journeys. Brooklyn's Lids. There it is. The Big L. <laughs> what? The big L. The big L. The big L. <laughs> oh, right, right. What? All finished up. Uh, as you can see, I didn't buy a hat. They only had Dolphins hat. And I like, I, I want a hat from every single NFL team. And they didn't have any Tampa. They had nothing Tampa. And I'm like, what? Your guys are Florida based. <laughs> you're like, you're in Florida and you're Lids. You should carry more Florida stuff because you think you'd sell more Florida stuff than Toronto stuff so they had like a whole section on Toronto teams things it's like that doesn't make sense at all so I was going to go into this Tilly see if they've got something for me we ended up in uh, Navy. Old Navy Old Navy and so I got this hat what do you think and uh, what should I do the duck lips <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and I got a new pair of shorts because the ones I'm wearing for some reason shrunk. And uh, <laughs> I think I, like I, when I grabbed clothing to bring on the trip, uh, I haven't worn shorts in a while. So I grabbed a whole bunch of shorts. And I think I grabbed a, an old pair from like many years ago and I was like 200 pounds, 216 pounds. Now I'm 220, so they're a little tight. So it was easier to buy larger pants than it is to lose 10 pounds by tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to bring these and I'll bring bathing suit of course and the hatch to stop my head from frying. We are back in the room. Carol is cooking dinner. I, I saw a few comments yesterday <clears throat> or today when I read your comments from yesterday's video that we didn't show you what we ate for dinner. So my aunt and uncle, my cousin and her husband had us over for burgers and we went down and, and cooked them down. They have like those um, coal fire hibachi type things down there. Uh, they like them so much they're actually buying them. I'm rambling now. Uh, so they invited us to that and I just didn't feel like vlogging, that, having dinner with them. And they're, I don't think they're super keen on the whole vlogging. We're going to try and squeeze them in the vlog tomorrow because we're going to be with them for a long time on the boat. So today, <clears throat> we're just having soup, chicken noodle soup, grilled cheeses, and then Carol also cooked some chicken for tomorrow's uh, lunches. And we're just going to make chicken wraps, chicken Caesar wrap type things. So that's what we're doing. And of course, we have some Krispy Kreme donuts for dessert today. But uh, I just wanted to end the vlog off with what we're eating for dinner. Of course, it's like, oh, and get it now. You can't beat grilled cheese and soup, really. Uh-oh, she doesn't know which one's which. That's yours. Okay. 
So I'll go out and get it now. Thank you. Okay, guys. We're going to eat our dinner in peace and quiet. And uh, so we'll see you tomorrow. Carol, good night. Good night. Good night, people.